Alright, hello and welcome back everyone to another episode of Horizon Zero Dawn. I don't remember what we were doing last. Um, like at all. Uh, tutorial trip machines with shock wires, so that's helpful. Is there a mark on my map for where to do that? I mean, I guess we could just come over here to this Strider site. I'm so sneaky. You don't even know I'm here. I'm so sneaky. You don't even know I'm here. So sneaky. I am the sneakiest. That should work. Ooh, there's Healy Bits there, too. I really want those. Okay, they're heading back. So, yeah, that should trip him, right? And then I will get... I'm a little sad that, like, the uh, the main mission, the story mission that I did there, didn't count towards this. I feel like it should have, and it, it just didn't for some reason. Yep, here he comes. He's gonna come around this corner right here. Yep, there he goes. There it goes. There they go. I don't know. Run up. And we crit the idiot. We take all of those, because they're really quite good. We take all of those as well. There are the Striders. Well, that didn't work. Perfect. That worked really well, actually. Like that, that... Mm. Gonna need this. They all kind of ran away, so I wasn't fighting all of them because I shocked them up. That, that went really well. Cool, cool, cool. And now we're gonna climb up here so that they can't get to me. And then we'll look at our map and see if we have another quest. <clears throat> Pardon me, I've got, uh, been dealing with some, uh, some, what do you call it, uh, allergies. There we go. Uh, so this is our main quest. Let's... 
can we track it? Yeah, talk to Rust. Rust. Rost. Rost. His name is Rost. Oh, that hurt. Didn't mean for that to hurt me. There we go. Because I saw that you can make upgrades with this. Hmm. Right? Like, I'm not an idiot there. That was in the crafting menu, right? Yeah, you can make potions. With it. That's right. And other... Yeah, other upgrades as well. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Take some meat. We can come in here and we can say, hey, I would like to craft some arrows. Thank you. And we're going to Mother's Heart to talk to Rost before we do the coming of age ceremony that I don't remember the word for. Aloy. There he is. We must speak. So. Yes. It's time. Are you ready? Yes. So my wife actually pointed this out, and I feel like she was quite correct. Yes, I guess. It looks it's like louder they have expected. like just like a ton of Botox so close before. injected, so I their face is moving in close. like plates instead Soon of like muscles. Soon it'll all seem familiar. It's very okay. weird. I don't know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? So many. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. <clears throat> I'm sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Are you sure they're going to let me in? <laughs> That's my I've big concern. You, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the Proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Will they, though? I, I feel like Aloy's concerns here are reasonable. Like, honestly. There'll be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No <laughs> other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, eh. back when I was at the tribe. I don't know that I will, but okay, let's go! I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. So you're just gonna fucking bail because you are outcast. Take this. <clears throat> Remember. That seems pretty fucking uncool Why of you, Ross. Talking like we'll never see each other again. No. No. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. Eh. Will it's it though? I wish that you embrace like, the tribe. You've lived You're the only family enough. she's ever known, Ross. Until now I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This This is goodbye.
I will find no, you. It's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. <clears throat> there goes my my coughs and chokes again from the allergies. Thank you. I'm interested to see if we will see Rost again or if just like never again because yeah, reasons. For now. Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's do proving After things. That, I'll see where his trail leads. You will turn back outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. Make way. Make way. No. Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I mean, that's a good day, question. Who else would you be? But, like, anyone, because I don't know who you are. I've never met you before. You but could be literally moment, anyone. I, must leave. <laughs> I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? Yeah, you know, weird shit that we don't understand. Down the path to the right. Hey, look, a fire. I would like to interact with this fire and light it, please. Thank you. Oh, what's this? Oh, we can warm our hands. Okay. That's that's neat. Jerks about done themselves this year. Aloy! It's you, isn't it? It is Hi. Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly? Uh, Are yes. you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. Ah, uh, I, I thought remember. so. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hope to see you again. If you came to run in the proving. Proving time. As you proving see, time. I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. Well, that's a useful skill. In preparation skill. for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. That's very good. kind of you, Teb. Thank you. A uh, new Nora Braves armor stitched by Teb. Uh, offers no extra protection, but can be upgraded. Fun. This is stealthy, stealthy. Like, we can afford some of this. Not all of it. We need sparkers for this, and we need a shitload of metal shards for that. But, like, we could just take this, which is free. So we will. We'll equip it. Yes, please. But, like... Is this, so this is better. It has better resistance all around. And this gives bonuses to stealth. I kind of think that I want the better resistances just all around, honestly. It's what, 45... Ooh, it's really expensive. We, we can afford it, but 45 metal shards really cuts into our metal shard stash. 
Although I suppose I could sell some stuff. Yeah, this is stuff that you are just supposed to sell. Like, these are stuff that we can use for crafting, but these ones are just trading and selling. I don't want to sell this one because I want to see if I can trade it. These two both. This one specifically, because you can only get this from the Sawtooth, and the Sawtooth was a tough fight, so I think I want to hold on to it and see if I can trade for something really good. The Luminous Braiding, though, I think will mark for selling. The Strider Heart should be pretty easy to pick up, the Watcher Heart should be pretty easy to pick up, and the Watcher Lens should be pretty easy to pick up, so let's sell those. Yeah, there we go. Now I feel much better about buying Nora Survivor of Light. Or Survivor Light. Free sample block. Uh, okay. Banuk. I don't know what these have in them, man. You know what? I'm just gonna buy them. I have the stuff for them. I'm just gonna buy them. And there's buyback. Cool. There. Try it on whenever you feel like it. Thank you. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Oh, Ooh, what happened there? <laughs> I think you'll find it affords more <laughs> sudden, than sudden jump. What you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Mm. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. That's not you know a bad idea. Not ah, bad. It keeps like an angry mob waiting. I don't know time. why it does that Tirsa weird said jump about thing. Envoys from but there's a couple tribe? of times now that it's yes, done a weird that's jump. Mobs angry about. And also the faces with their, their, for the their first time stiffness. In I'd expect to see some like, tomatoes. The fly eye movements are really natural. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. Yes, I shall do that. So, what I've just learned from that is that, first of all, we've got these things that we can modify, and we have modified. <clears throat> but now, we also have outfits that we can put modifications on and equip. Now I just need to figure out how to do it. Oh, probably in crafting, huh? But first, let's see here. We've got rich meat, fatty meat, bony meat, right? Treasure boxes. Can I? Yeah, I'll, I'll take all those. Traps, potions, or pouches full. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. This is just free shit. I'm okay with this. Why does this say I have new, oh, page one of one. I don't have any new stuff. Oh, because it wants me. Okay. Okay, I understand. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, no. Let's try this. Resources. We got a scrapper lens. Cool, cool, cool. Crafting. Modify outfits. Sonora Brave, we can put a modification on, but we don't have any. This one we can put a modification on, but we don't have any. Okay, cool. That's totally fine. I like this outfit. I like how it looks, and I like that it gives us bonuses to uh, to all of our resistances and stuff. Dance! Or sing? Sing dance? Perform. That's, that's cool. This is all pretty cool. Get down from there. Bad enough you're drunk. Oh, Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not what an idiot he is. Every year this happens, every year. At least he's Let's not trying out. to run a brave trail. Can we climb? I'm so far up. I would like to climb, please. Oh, that's just what you 
No? Fine. What you want is for me to have no fun at all. Fine. Listen carefully now. Fine. Stay up on the roof all night if you want. Yeah, I will. In the beginning, all life came from all people she Hey, Aloy, over here. Karst. Hey, buddy. What's up? Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't yeah. be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. And wait to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Why'd so, you come? Mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Right? Because well, I remember him saying alone that. all the time, Kenny. Yes. Truth is, I get lonely once yes, in a while. Yes, you can. There. You can drink alone indefinitely. Don't think less of me. Pretty much forever. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Alright, what do you what do you, what do you, what do you got, all Karst? Right. What? You got a sling, you got a rope caster, a war bow, a sharp shot bow, a karja sling. Same outfits, so nothing new there. Uh, slow firing slinging lobs, elemental bombs with large area of effect, best used to inflict elemental statuses on targets. Neat. Uh, used to tie down machines and immobilize them. Larger targets require more ropes. That sounds really cool. We have this. Uh, low damage fires elemental payloads best used to put targets into vulnerable states. Slow firing but highly accurate bow best used for long range combat when target precision is critical. Um, I kind of want to pick up the rope caster, so I think I'm gonna. Cause that seems kind of neat to me. Tie rope light back. Cool. See you later, Karst. Good luck. Bye, Karst. Ah, oh, yay, more cutscene. In a moment, oh, these must be the Karja, right? Because they're dressed differently, like with reds instead of blues. For two years, we have been at peace with the Karja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. peace. Neat. <clears throat> Peace is good. We An like peace. Of gratitude, Killers and slavers! Of yeah. Sun King yeah. Of Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold your fruit, nor if, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. He was. Okay, fair enough. The that is what they want to hear. Raided my tribe for blood <laughs> sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. I mean, this is Who good. Killed him? The 14th. Okay, fair enough. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology. Straight from the lips of the 14th King. So please, can't you lend him your ears? I like this guy. I mean, I like pretty much every character we've met so far. <clears throat> uh, with the exception of the an bitch priest that wanted to throw gratitude. us off the fucking cliff. I don't, I don't care for her. Fourteenth luminance of the Radiant Line. 
Good question. Anora, wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids. Yes, them. yes, they do, and I fell into Who one as a I'm child. Nora. Why? Uh, I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Ah. Uh, Malfunction. Yeah, well, with your face tracking we're too. friends with locals, are we? I'll. I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. What is with all the I jumping around we're doing here, guys? <laughs> hey, you got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin. Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other yeah. half drinking or dicing. I don't believe As for you. the trinket, well, I guess he I dug it up why. somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense, it looks great on you. <laughs> Quite I a thought speech. your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I mm. could do it. Lenora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I mean, no one. Slavers and murderers are bad. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring-locked, impact-protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. Fun times. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life-takers and machine-breakers to a one. I might even give them Nora Warmaid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Eh. What else do you know about Owen? This is also really a good that question. interesting. I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. Yeah, that makes sense. I've actually. known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Yeah, fair enough. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. I mean, I'll that sounds good, but it doesn't answer sister. any of our questions She's about who our mother was, who our do. father was, where we came from. I thought from. you said she was captured and killed by the last Sun King. Ha! <laughs> captured, yes. Killed, no. That takes more than a few cards to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's captain of the entire vanguard. That's quite a story. Well, maybe I'll tell it to you sometime over a drink. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? Maybe. Maybe not. Stop me from enjoying but festival. maybe. What harm can they do now? Ah, not allowed to walk there. Okay, cool. Cool. The cards have come to make amends. I won't deny you the chance. I mean, I wouldn't either. Seems like it would be foolish. Lots of drumming. I do like the drumming. Good drumming. We'll start the blessing when all aspirants are in place. Aloy, oh, yeah. Yeah. take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Thank you, Tirsa. I appreciate you. That's very kind of you. 
blasphemy. Sisters. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, oh, fuck light you, kid. its flame. You rude jerk. This is for me. For yep. all I did to make it here. Not for anybody else. And the answers I'll get after I Because I believe me. that. You can't do oh, you can't live your life for other people. Prayer. What is a child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. I mean, that's a really pretty, pretty prayer. I like it a lot. This is the chain of love. I like that pretty prayer with the pretty prayer lanterns. That's cute. There's Owen. I have some questions for him. Yes, I uh, Yes, I, I agree. Questions. Question the Owen. Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah. Guess Aaron told you. Yes. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? <coughs> Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. Who what are you? Doing here, Owen? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. Fair when enough. all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. Yeah, fair enough. I've never Where'd seen anyone it? else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Eh, okay, fair enough. When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain. Or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you. It malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Why are you You're not lying a very to convincing me? liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Only when they Only lie the to ones me. who aren't telling the truth. Fire Thanks, they lie. Girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You don't believe me? That's your trouble, not mine. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm Fair used enough. to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. You know something that you were not sharing there, Olin. I will take those things, thank you. I appreciate your generous contribution to the cause. Have a wonderful time. Have an absolutely wonderful time. More cutscene times. Motherless chuff. No? What did you say? Find your bed outcast and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Deep breath. Deep breath. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're you're very pleasant, Tim. 
Yeah, you're not smart enough to respond very quickly, huh? Yeah, fuck off. Jackass. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. Yeah. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. So this, this is where we stay for now. You didn't know the words to the blessing, did you? But no one hears your prayers anyway. Oh, hey, boss. You even try Let's to put you where it is. Like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. You're so a this jerk. is how it's going to be with you, is it? This is how it's going to be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. I the pity you. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. <laughs> I've trained all my yeah, life. Well, You'll see tomorrow how strong yes, I am. Yes, I will. Oh, I've so seen stop plenty. talking. You grew a man's body, kind of. But down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Yeah. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded Probably. you that day to mark your shame. No. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. There we go. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. Oh, don't refer to yourself You'll the third the person. You're tomorrow, already a outcast. Jackass. Not me. Oh, are you going to shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. You are already a jackass. Don't don't fucking keep it up with with the fucking No. No, no. No, no. Oh uh, yeah, let's talk to Mama. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet till morning anyway. Yeah, well. Oh, don't you know, I do met. what I can. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving, most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. You can try. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. And well, y'all, uh... I'm pretty sure that that is going to have to be that for now. I, although, I, it looks like I don't have a way to save. Can't save at this fire. Ah, I guess I'm just going to have to sleep. And then we'll have to save. So? Because we are out of time. Heart. What do you think? Hmm. It's big and crowded and noisy. I've never in Lodge before. Not very private. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. And we have completed the Mother's Heart quest. Hooray! Good job, boss. But anyway, like I was saying, we are going to wrap this episode up here, or as soon as this cutscene ends, because I'm out of time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have had just as much fun, if not more, than I have. If you have had fun, please remember to leave a like on the video. Subscribe so you don't miss anything else that I'm doing. Comment, tell me what you liked. You know, all those sorts of good things. 